the questions. So Caroline, you're going to have to read the questions you got it. in the chat because I won't be able to read them without my glasses. Sure thing. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're so, so excited for tonight's event. We, I'm going to just go out on a limb and say that this is probably the most requested Facebook Live we have had since we started doing these last year. We had Kat from 21 Seeds on in March, and you guys have been on us to get the additional SKUs, and we've got one. We've got cucumber jalapeno. It just hit stores within the last week or so, and so to celebrate, we have Kat here tonight. She's going to make some cocktails for us with the new, with the new cucumber jalapeno. We're so excited she could be here. We're so excited that you guys told us you wanted her to come back. So keep it coming. Keep telling us what you want for our live events. We're going to be bringing more in-person events back soon too, but we're not going to stop these live tastings. We have so much fun hanging out with you guys. So oh, I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm a little bit fired up, fired up because you know, the jalapenos. I love so, it. So, okay. Without further ado, <laughs> I am going to turn things over to Kat, fabulous Kat from 21 Seeds. Thank you, Carol Ann, and congratulations. We were just talking and you're about to get married and actually, we actually have like two weddings coming up this year and then the guy that runs the East Coast for us, Porter, is getting married this weekend. So I'm so excited to hear that weddings are back and people are gathering together. It's awesome, 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 awesome. So I am so excited to be here. I will say I'm, in, um, I'm at my sister's house, who's my co-founder, Nicole. And um, so the internet's a little splotchy, but it definitely comes back. So if it uh, if I freeze or if anything happens, just hang in there, and we're gonna I'll, I'll be back. Um, but with that said, I'm so excited to introduce to you guys the our 21 Seeds Cucumber Jalapeno Infused Tequila. Um, this is our bestseller around the whole country, so I'm thrilled that you guys have it now in New Hampshire. And, um, and you guys, I mean, I have to say, I was just saying to the gals, I had this incredible experience. I was at this bar out in Montauk just this last weekend. And the, 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 the group of people sitting next to us um, were all from New Hampshire. And they, were, they couldn't believe that we were sitting next to them because they were like, oh my God, I just bought the grapefruit hibiscus for a girlfriend last week. So y'all are just loving 21 Seeds in New Hampshire and I can't thank you enough for supporting the brand. Um, so a little bit about the brand for those of you who don't know it um, as well. Uh, you know, I started 21 Seeds with my sister whose house I'm in in Pennsylvania right now, um, Nicole and my girlfriend Sarka uh, because I, I was having trouble drinking wine and uh, my dog, I went to my doctor, I started, I was feeling like I had sweats and headaches and I didn't know really what was going on. And so I went to my doctor and he actually recommended that I stop drinking fermented spirits. So wine, beer, champagne, and move over to a distilled spirit. And he recommended that I switch to a Blanco tequila. So I thought, oh, that's cool. It's a blonde, you know, I don't have to stop drinking, but to drink a Blanco tequila every night, like I was drinking my wine felt a little aggressive. So I was like, what am I going to do to this Blanco to make it as easy to drink as a glass of wine? And so I started infusing it and by infusing it, it completely changed it. And that's what 21 Seeds is. For those of you who don't know exactly what it is, it's an all natural, everything's in it is all natural, actually real fruit infused tequila. And what's really cool about the cucumber jalapeno was this was the very first infusion that I made. So when I first got the diagnosis and my doctor's like, go off and drink Blanco tequila, I thought what to infuse this tequila with, and I love spice. So I put cucumbers and jalapenos into a Brita with a bunch of tequila and the rest is history. And that's what's in this bottle. And it's so, so good. So, you know, we started the company in 2019. It's been growing ever since. Um, it's so exciting. We're now almost in all 50 states. And I'm so excited to make a couple cocktails with the cucumber jalapeno for you so that you can see how easy it is to use. Now, I will say Katie Couric is obsessed with 21 Seeds and she drinks the cucumber jalapeno on the rocks. That's how she drinks it every night. So there you go. So you can absolutely drink it on the rocks if you like the spice. If not, I'm gonna show you all how to make a delicious, easy, three ingredient, perfect spicy margarita. It is perfect every time if you follow this recipe. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I love that sound. That's like the sound of a good time right, right there, that pop. And you just 
take a smell of it. For those of you who have it at home, just take a smell of it. It's, it is so good. You smell the cucumber right away that the, it finishes with the jalapeno and it's not too spicy. So don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to just take a little sip of it first in these cute little shot glasses that we bought down in Mexico. Look at these gorgeous little glasses. It has a cute little jalapeno in it. And this is from a little town called Tonala, just outside of Jalisco, which is where our distillery is down in Mexico that makes uh, the tequila for us. So, and a cool thing about our distillery is that it's owned by um, a woman and predominantly staffed by women, which is pretty rare down there. So, so the girls call the shots operation all around at 21 Seeds. So I'm just gonna take a little sip of this just to kind of describe it to you guys. And there it is, my cute little jalapeno floating around in there. Uh, but, oh, okay. I'm smelling the cucumber right away. And then you, you smell a little bit of that spice. And then when you taste it, you know, so much of what you taste is what you smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste it now. It's delicious, you guys. You get a little more of the smell of cucumber than the taste of cucumber. So it's like very mild, the taste of the cucumber. And really then you get that finish of the jalapeno. Honestly, you can drink it warm. You can be one of those cool, cool, like one of the things when I started the company, I always wanted to, I was like, what was that spirit for me? Like in Mad Men, you know, where he just walks over and just pours something right off a bar, warm, no ice, into a into like a rocks glass like this right and just pours it right in and like takes a swig i'm like what's that spirit for me it's 21 seeds you guys try it it's delicious so this is delicious mm. i'm gonna put it over here and now we're gonna make a spicy margarita this is the easiest easiest recipe in the world so i'm gonna grab a shaker and i'm gonna put it in this gorgeous glass i've upped my glassware game too by the way since owning a tequila company I really like stepped it up on the glassware. Um, in here, I'm gonna put some ice. So get some ice in there. This is such an easy cocktail for the summer and you can pre-batch the whole thing. So if you're having a party, you can do it the night before. Uh, in the shaker, I'm gonna add two ounces of the cucumber jalapeno tequila, which is basically a three count pour. So I'm gonna go like this. One, two, three. There you go. You cannot make a mistake here. To that, I, uh, I've become efficient and I've made a little mixture, equal parts, fresh lime juice, simple syrup. So I pre-batch it because I make so many of them. Um, so equal parts and you can keep it in the fridge for up to a week really, um, or you can freeze it and then just thaw it out. But it's equal parts, fresh lime juice, simple syrup. So for this recipe, it's two ounces of cucumber jalapeno tequila half ounce simple syrup, half ounce fresh lime juice, which equals one ounce of this little mixture. So just so you guys know, a half ounce is one tablespoon. You really don't need a lot to this tequila because it's already so smooth and it, it's full of flavor and it's not sweet. So you just, less is more. Start off with less than what you normally do and then you can always add. So I'm gonna add this and please always use fresh lime juice. There's no substitute for fresh lime juice. So to that, I'm gonna do one ounce. So I'm gonna measure my one ounce here because it's a half ounce of simple, half ounce fresh lime juice. There we go. And that's, that's it, you guys, three ingredients and you are done. And I'm gonna shake this up. And you really wanna give it a good shake, like 20 seconds. She should be so cold and you want, when you shake it, you're mixing it, you're diluting it a little bit, and you're chilling it. All three very important things. Okay, that's finished. Now I'm gonna put some fresh ice in my glass. There we go, fill it up with fresh ice. And pour. Money shot. There you go. Perfect. You guys, cheers. Clink. <laughs> mm. So Kat, you mentioned that this was the first infusion that you made, but one of our viewers would like to know, how do you decide which infusions to create? 
How did I decide? Good question. So the first, this first one, I, I didn't really even think about it. I just thought about what is it that I like, right? And I, I like cucumbers and I love jalapeno so much. So, and I've had a spice, I had had a spicy margarita in the past and the spicy margarita had been made with a jalapeno infused simple syrup. So I thought, what would happen if I just threw that in there? And it was delicious. So it was really just out of trial and error. That one turned out to be delicious. Then after that first one, I kind of then, I was like, well, that worked. So I looked at what were the other really popular tequila cocktails, right? And um, I looked at obviously a margarita, right? Margaritas are the most popular cocktail in the country. So what's in a margarita? So a typical margarita is made with tequila, uh, whether you use a simple syrup or an agave syrup, something like that, like a sweetener, um, fresh lime juice, and oftentimes triple sec or Grand Marnier, like an orange liqueur, right? Which is basically like orange flavor with a lot of sugar and um, some uh, alcohol, right? Cause it's a liqueur. So I thought, huh, okay, I'm gonna try orange and see how that goes. And that was obviously turned out to be the Valencia orange it was delicious. And then the third one, the grapefruit hibiscus, which is the one that you all have and have, you know, have been enjoying this whole time since March, that is a Paloma, right? Like that is the second, so margarita, spicy margarita, Paloma. And what's in a Paloma? It's grapefruit juice, tequila. And, oh, sorry, that's my sister's dog. He just went up. But um, so that's how I tried, sorry guys, the grapefruit was from that. So. And, and at that point, we were kind of done. Like we, we, we tried those three infusions, they were delicious. And, you know, oftentimes I get the question like, why don't you do a lime infused tequila, right? Because you use lime in so many tequila cocktails. And the reason why I would never do a lime infused tequila is one, first of all, the same reason why fresh lime, there, there's no substitute for fresh lime. And we're used to using fresh lime in all our drinks. It's such an easy ingredient to add. It's not complicated. It's not like a liqueur or some, you know, infused or something simple syrup. It's fresh. It's so simple, right? To just add fresh lime. And that adds so much flavor to a cocktail that I would never take that away from the consumer, from that whole experience. So you'll never see a, a lime infused, uh, you know, tequila from 21 Seeds or lemon either, by the way, for that matter. And those two things are also quite acidic, more acidic than grapefruit or orange. So they, they sort of carry their own problems if you're not using them fresh. So like in that moment, I don't even buy store-bought pre-squeezed lime juice. Like I truly always use fresh lime juice from a fresh lime. So hope that answers it. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, for sure. Okay. Are you guys ready for another cocktail? I am. Okay. This next one is so, again, I'm all about easy. Let's push the easy button. It's time to have a cocktail and enjoy ourselves. Like, I don't want to do math. I don't want to make it complicated. Let's, let's make it easy. So this one, we're just going to build in a glass. And I found this gorgeous glass that my sister had. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous shape and pretty flower on it. And we're going to do basically our version of a mule. Okay. So we're going to start with some ice in the glass. We're just going to build this cocktail right in the glass. I'm going to put some ice in it. There we go. Step one. Step two, cucumber, jalapeno, tequila. And this again, two ounces, which is a three count pour. So we're going to go one, two, three. Okay. And then to that, I'm going to add club soda or sparkling water. Here's some sparkling water right here. So I'm going to add some club soda and I'm going to do equal parts. So I'm going to do another two ounces of club soda, basically the same amount of liquid that I put in of the tequila. I'm going to do the club soda. So two ounces of club soda. And then to that, I am going to add some ginger beer. And I'm just gonna add an ounce of ginger beer because I don't like it too sweet. If you want it sweeter, you can always add more. You could do two, two, two. Two parts cucumber jalapeno, two parts club soda, two parts ginger beer. I do a little less ginger beer because it's got a lot of sugar in it and I find it to be too sweet. So I do one ounce of ginger beer, which is about that much. 
And then I have this gorgeous basil that I'm gonna kind of slap. And that's all you need to do. You don't really need to muddle, just slapping your, your fresh uh, mint, basil, your fresh herbs. That's what releases the aroma. And it's so, it's so aromatic, it's delicious. And that you guys is our version of a mule. So easy, three, again, three ingredients, two, two and two. And if you want it a little less sweet, two, two and one ounce of the ginger beer. And that is a, is a mule. I'm gonna take a sip. While Kat takes a sip, I need to know who on the line is tasting along tonight. Do you have, and I wanna know, do you have the cucumber jalapeno or do you have the grapefruit hibiscus like me? It's so good. Daniel has the grapefruit. Daniel, a man after my own heart. Nice, Daniel. How, how are you drinking it, Daniel? What are you doing? Tell us about your cocktail. Mm. Oh, we've got a lot of grapefruits happening. Daniel's grapefruit. got it straight up. Uh, That's let's amazing. see, Justin, Teresa, Mary, and Chris are all tasting along with the grapefruit. So amazing. Uh, so guys, since you have the grapefruit, like a super easy Paloma is two ounces of grapefruit hibiscus, two ounces of fresh grapefruit juice, top with club soda. And if you want it to be sweeter, just add a splash of simple syrup. But again, I, if your grapefruit juice is sweet, you probably don't even need to do that. And that is a gorgeous, easy Paloma. So simple, it's really, really easy. And you can make a spicy Paloma. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the grapefruit hibiscus and mix it with the cucumber jalapeno and make like a spicy Paloma. That's also really good. Uh, okay. Tanya and Justin both said they can't wait to try the jalapeno. Mm. Uh, and that there, Tanya is going to go grab one tomorrow. So I guess I will, Mark wasn't able to join us tonight. I know you guys are missing him. So, but he did give me the inventory and current pricing to share with you all. So the grapefruit jalapeno, which has been in our stores since March is available at, uh, let's 58 of our 69 stores. So it's on sale right now for $35.99. So you can pretty much get it at anywhere in the state. And then the cucumber jalapeno is in our 36 spirit specialty stores right now. We're doing a little test to make sure you guys love it. If it's anything like the grapefruit hibiscus, you will love it and it will pass the test in a third of the time needed. And it is also on sale for $35.99. So if anybody has a specific store they're looking at, uh, just shoot me a message on Facebook or here in the Zoom. And while Kat makes the next drink, I can look up the inventory for you. Totally. Okay, wait, I need one more glass that I didn't bring. So hold one second. So you guys, I know I was just sort of mentioned this. So the grapefruit hibiscus came to us in March as a test. And normally we do like a six month test to see how our customers respond. And the grapefruit re resoundingly won in the test. It only took two months to know that you guys loved it. So you know, just that's why the jalapeno is here now. We're so excited to have it. Um, so anyway, okay. Kat's back. Okay, I'm back. You guys, I'm so, I'm so excited for you guys to have this cucumber jalapeno. I have to tell you, like it's it literally is taking the country by storm. Truly, truly, truly. We cannot keep it in stock. Not because we don't have it, but because the stores are just, they don't, they, they don't, it's like, they're like, People are drinking it so fast, you know, so much faster than regular tequila and they have a set to regular tequila algorithms. So it's, it's, it's crazy, but I'm really excited for you guys to try this. So, so excited. So this is a two ingredient cocktail. Can you imagine? Yes, it's true. So I checked with the ladies before I even brought this to your attention because the last thing I want is for me to share something with you that you can't get. <laughs> so they said that you guys can get pineapple spindrift. It is so good. It's so good, you guys, okay? So this cocktail is so simple. It's equal parts cucumber jalapeno and pineapple spindrift. I'm gonna put it into a glass right now, but you cannot imagine how delicious this is. It's to die. And if for some reason you don't like spice, which is fine, um, you can make this cocktail with the grapefruit hibiscus as well. So equal parts grapefruit hibiscus and pineapple spinger. It's almost like a, like a tropical punch, but it's not like 
really sweet. It just has all these delicious hints of flavor. So I just put ice in my glass. Again, I'm gonna do three, I'm gonna do three ounces of cucumber jalapeno and three ounces of pineapple spindrift for this one. So I'm gonna do one, two, actually I'll do a three count pour. So not three ounces, two ounces. So one, two, three for two ounces of cucumber jalapeno. And to that, here it is right here, pineapple spindrift. My mom is so cute. My mom is here, you guys. You wanna come say hi, mom? Come say hi to New Hampshire. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna unplug so you guys can say hi to my, hi. my Greek mom. Hi, hi, New Hampshire. Hi. Hi, state hi. of New Hampshire. She's hey, gonna... mom. <laughs> Your daughters are great. We love their tequila. It's true. Okay, I'm plugging you back in. We're here visiting my sister and my mom's here from the West Coast. Okay, so that was two ounces of cucumber jalapeno. I'm gonna add two ounces of pineapple spindrift. Top that off. That is it. And she brought over this gorgeous giant slice. I don't, I think I filled it up so much I can't even put the whole thing in there. Let me take a sip first, you guys. Let me take a sip. Here, we'll put the strawberry on instead. And the sprig there. And we'll put this one on there. Okay, done. Look at that gorgeousness. I'm gonna take a sip. You guys, it is so, so, so good. So good, so easy, two ingredients, and it's a gorgeous cocktail. Mm. That is so good. So those are three easy ones. We have so many more cocktails. We're always creating new cocktails. We now have a blog on the website. So if you go to 21seeds.com um, and hit our blog, you will see tons and tons and tons of recipes for all three skews. You know, you guys have the grapefruit hibiscus and the and um, the cucumber jalapeno. Hopefully, all of that goes well, and then we can bring you the Valencia orange next. But we have so many great recipes on the blog that I want you guys all to go and try. Um, and and if you see a recipe using the Valencia orange, you can use the grapefruit hibiscus as well. They're both in the same citrus family, so you know don't don't be afraid to try something. It's they're all pretty versatile. You can like mix and match. Should we play a little trivia? Sure. Um, let me just answer one question first. So our, our customers here in New Hampshire want to know where they can get the pineapple spindrift. So okay. I can't say everywhere, but I can tell you that I got it at Target. I don't remember if it That's was right. the Bedford Target or Nashua on Amherst Street, but those are, those are my targets. And so it was one of those. <laughs> That's, and. that's where, that's where I buy it in California from Target. I, that's, I buy it from there. So that's where I would start. I would start at Target for sure. You guys, it's really, really good. And it would be really good with the grapefruit hibiscus too. It's just a really good skew. Some of the spindrifts I don't love as much because I will say the spindrifts are a little less, um, bubbly, right. Than like say a Topo Chico or a fever tree, right. Cause it does have a little bit of juice in it. So it's a little less flat. So if you want something really like effervescent, right? Like really bubbly, um, you know, like for example, they have a grapefruit spindrift that I don't love as much. I'd rather do it like the grapefruit fever tree or the grapefruit Topo Chico because it's got more bubble in it. But the pineapple one is really delicious because together it really tastes like a lighter version of say a tropical punch, so. Pat, if they can't find a pineapple flavored seltzer, would an easy substitute be just regular club soda and pineapple? Bingo. Awesome. Exactly. Just use club soda and, and pineapple juice, which is everywhere. That's easy. Delicious. Or fresh You pineapple. guys can get that at Market Basket, I promise. Yeah, totally easy. Totally. Um, okay, I think last time we played some trivia, so we need to play a little more. So we're going to, how about we do three trivia questions? One, two of them are totally to do with 21 Seeds. And the other one I will give you a hint has something to do with 21 seeds, but it's a little more indirect, the connection. So we'll start with the, the, the ones that have all to do with 21 seeds. So for the first one is, and then um, Caroline, you'll help us get the winners and get you guys our 21 seeds, awesome hats. And we have these great girls called the shot shot glasses. So, so I'll be watching the comments, the chat here on Zoom. And then I've got the Facebook for those of you watching on Facebook. There's 
There's two of me right now because I'm watching on Facebook too to see if you answer correctly there. Okay, so the first question is, what does 21 seeds stand for? What do all of the parts of the name mean? Wow, okay, we have, okay, we have someone's come in right away. Tyler, you're quick, you're on Zoom. I'm gonna to have to put my glasses on now to read the comments, you guys, because I'm getting old and I can't see anymore. <laughs> okay. Look at Mary, look at Mary. Mary's coming in strong. But I, I guys, I, I kind of feel like Mary got it, right? Great job, it's, Mary. It's, good job, oh. Mary. Mary got it. So guys, 21 seeds is two sisters, close Tyler, not, not one cousin. She's almost a cousin, but she's a friend. So it's two sisters, one friend, and everything that goes into 21 seeds is all natural and grows from a seed. So there you go, Mary. Bravo. Okay. The second question for this is this, I talked about this in the Zoom. What was the first infusion that I made? All right, people of Facebook, I see that there are 11 of you watching. Where are your answers, guys? I'm waiting. Okay, let's see. We've got, I think, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, I think, I think that, that, that Tyler got it. Because he said, I'm assuming that's the cute, right? The cucumber jalapeno. Some shorthand there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like we should give it to him because Mary's, Mary, you are so on it, girl. Mary's on it. Mary's okay. Mary, I think I owe you a prize from an event a few weeks ago still. <laughs> <laughs> Mary's just racking up the prizes. Good job, Mary. Okay, good job. So it was the cucumber jalapeno was the very first infusion that I ever made and it's our number one bestseller. So look at that. Uh, sometimes first time is, is the charm, right? Okay, here's the last question. The last question is what month and day did New Hampshire join the union? And I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with our brand. <laughs> okay, oh. let's see what we've got. We've got okay. nothing right yet. You guys are so clever. Austin, well, good job, Austin, right? Because like, the reason I bet Austin, Austin, tell me if this is your thinking here. Are you thinking because there's three of us and 21 seeds, like the name 21 seeds? Because March is 321, right? But the winner is Mary again. <laughs> <laughs> Mary got it. It's June 21st, which is which is a multiple of three, right? It's 621. But that's right, the 21st. How crazy is that, you guys? So, we were meant to be in your state. 21 Seeds was meant to be in New Hampshire. You guys joined the union on June 21st. I forgot the year. I think it was like, I, I remembered it earlier, but now I've forgotten. 1788, well done, Teresa. I think Teresa should, we should send something to Teresa for getting the year right. You need another winner. Mary wants another winner because she feels like she's, she's won them all. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, one more question then. Let's do one more. Okay, Mary, Mary, you can't answer this one. How about that? Okay, Mary's not participating in this one. My last question is, um, okay, let me think of my last question. My last question is, where is our, what city, what town or city is our distillery located in? I know it's on the it's on the bottle. If you guys are tasting at home, it's on the bottle. <laughs> okay, so anybody else want to chime in? Tyler's put an answer in the queue in the chat. Maryville. <laughs> That's hilarious. So funny. Okay. 
Daniel says, how let's go. Okay, guys, I'm, we're going to give it to Tyler. Has Tyler won? He won the cucumber jalapeno. Should we share? Should we send it to, to, to are you okay with that, Tyler? We'll give it to Daniel because Tyler's already getting a hat. So we're going to send, we'll share. Exactly. Okay. So, because the truth is, is that our distillery is actually in the town of Tequila. There is a town of Tequila in the region of Jalisco. So Jalisco is the region that we were that we are in. It's the region where all tequila comes from. It has to come from Jalisco in order to be called tequila. Uh, it has a designation of origin just like champagne does and like cognac versus brandy, right? It has to come from cognac in order to be called cognac. So in order to be called tequila, it has to come from Jalisco. But our distillery is actually, there is an actual town of tequila and our distillery is in the town of tequila. But we're going to go ahead and give that to Daniel because Tyler already won. Awesome. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> you guys are quick. <laughs> awesome. I'm just drinking all these cocktails now. Well, we have some questions for you. Uh -huh. So get com get comfortable and let's, if anybody let's else, it. if anybody has any other questions for Kat, please go ahead, leave those in the chat or in the comments on Facebook. We did, we posted to Instagram a few days ago asking if anybody had any questions. And so I've got some questions from the Instagram world for you. Let's do it. So this first one, I believe this person is looking for inspiration for our current mixology competition. They want to know which 21 seeds should I mix with Tito's? Okay. So we're not afraid of that question at all. Tito's is an awesome brand and let's see cucumber jalapeno. There you go. Um, <laughs> Um, you know, so you could totally mix it with the cucumber jalapeno and Tito's and make a, a mule, right? Like you could totally make a mule with the cucumber jalapeno 21 seeds, Tito's, which is vodka, which is what is traditionally in a mule. And then ours has the flavor of jalapeno, ginger beer, you know, club soda, good to go. So you could do that. Or you could mix it with the grapefruit hibiscus and make yourself a greyhound. So you could do the grapefruit hibiscus, Tito's, fresh grapefruit juice. Um, and make yourself a greyhound. So either of those would work. Awesome. I won't take up too much time talking about the competition, but if you are interested, just go to nhsummerfun.com. That's where you'll find all of that information, everyone. All right. The next question for Kat. Kat, will we see you at the Distiller Showcase this year? I mean, it's, I think it's all going to depend on what, what, what goes on, right? With, uh, with, with COVID. I'm hoping that, you know, things start to calm down again, but it's, it's a little bit crazy what's going on out there right now with all the, the Delta variant and, and the rising cases. And I know masks are back, but um, I know it's in November. And if, if things are open and we are able to travel, we would love to attend. All right, everybody, get your tickets now. <laughs> uh, all right, next question for Kat, where are we? Actually, this one might be kind of a Cat Catherine combo question. Do it. Uh, it would have been a Mark triplet question, but he wasn't. Able I'm to taking care of Caroline's bachelorette party, and she's going to walk down the aisle. Is that oh. what you were going <laughs> to? Yes. <laughs> uh, let's. One of our Instagram users wants to know if New Hampshire will be getting the Valencia Orange Twenty One Seeds. I hope so, you guys, because we've got some great recipes using that Valencia orange in time for the holidays, like a delicious old fashioned, which is so good. We make the best old fashioned using the Valencia orange and an amazing Negroni using the Valencia orange. So, and a Manhattan using the Valencia orange, and we call it the Woo Manhattan. Nice. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so, yes, we are planning to get the Valencia orange into New Hampshire. Um, this is going to go through the same process as we did with the first flavor. So as soon as we can prove that there's footing for the cucumber jalapeno and everybody goes crazy for it and picks it up at the store closest to them, um, the faster we can get the Valencia orange in. So hopefully you'll see it in a couple of months. Awesome. All right. We have a couple of questions from people wanting to know about inventory at their stores. So I apologize, guys. I can't check them all while I talk. I'm not that smart um, or not that coordinated, but I will say grapefruit hibiscus is available at 59, excuse me, 58 of our stores. The cucumber jalapeno is available right now at 36 stores. So just visit New Hampshire, uh, excuse me, liquorandwineoutlets.com. And I did put this, 
the SKU numbers. So if you type in those numbers or just search for 21 seeds on our website, you can look at the full availability. Um, and if you all were interested in the same store, I could look it up really easily, but I have uh, six or seven different requests over here. So sorry, guys. All right, next question for Kat. Um, Kat, how much experience do you have actually distilling tequila? Uh, wow. So I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm not good at. And the smartest person in the room is not having all the answers, but knowing to get them when you need them. So we found an incredible distillery partner down in Mexico. Um, Casa Maestri is our distillery. And again, like I said, it was, it's owned by a woman. And uh, we tasted many, many tequilas um, from many different distilleries. And her tequila was the smoothest, her Blanco-based tequila. These are three infused Blanco tequilas. Um, was just by far the smoothest. It's the most award-winning distillery in Mexico. Um, they also make Michael Jordan's tequila. They make the Tesla tequila for Elon Musk. So they have like, a, they, they make other people's tequila too. But the thing that was so special about uh, our relationship with her, with Celia, was that, you know, we were looking to infuse and no one is infusing tequila down in Mexico. None of the distilleries that we visited had the ability to infuse. Um, and so we needed to put some equipment in place in order to do that. And she was like such a partner for us. She, she allowed us to take a portion of her distillery and put the stuff in place that we needed to put in place in order to infuse. And, you know, she's not charging us rent for that space that we're using. She just really like said to us, like I, her family's been in the tequila business for almost a hundred years. So they've been in it for a long time. And she just saw herself and us and was like really on board, like helping us do this. Um, but all that said, I have learned a lot about distilling in a very short amount of time. And it's really a fascinating, interesting process. And just the whole process of making tequila and how you do it and why you do certain things is really, really interesting. And what I will say, just um, in terms of how, you know, what my doctor had said to me, which was to move away from fermented spirits and over to a distilled spirit, just to feel better. Uh, the reason behind that that he gave me, and now I understand it more, is because there's still a lot of organic living material in fermented spirits, right? Because if you think about the process of fermentation, you're just taking like the grape juice from the, you know, from the grapes, the pressed juice, the grape juice, and you're adding yeast to that, you know, in a tank, and then the yeast eats up all the sugar and the byproduct is alcohol, right? But at that point, you don't, you're not really, you, they do some filtrations and then they do add some stuff to it, um, you know, to, you know, there's a, there's a whole process around commercial wine, but nevertheless, at the end of the day, you're kind of just drinking everything that's in that um, barrel, like in that tub, right, of fermentation. And so it's hard to control that environment, right? Whereas when you move over to distillation, you, you, you take that wine and when we make tequila we make an agave wine first that's the first step of making tequilas you make an agave wine you take the piña right when you take the agave plant and the guy that hacks off all the leaves actually those are called humidors that's that's where the word you know there's tequila out there called el humidor that's the guy who wax off the 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 leaves of the agave plant is called the humidor so you take off the, the uh, leaves of the agave plant and what's left looks kind of like a gigantic pineapple, really. And it's called a pina. And that's the heart of the agave. And what you do is you then you cook that. And the big difference between tequila and mezcal, because tequila is a mezcal, right? So it's just a type of mezcal. Like all tequila comes from Blue Weber agave, but there are many different types of agave plants that you can make mezcal from. And Blue Weber is just one of them and all those are called tequila. So you take that pina and you cook it. And when you cook it in to make tequila, you steam it. And when you make mezcal, you roast it. And that's why it's smoky, right? Like that is where the smoky flavor comes from. It's from the way you cook the pina. And basically once it's cooked, it's actually really good to eat, it tastes great. It's like eating raw honeycomb. If you've ever eaten like raw honeycomb before, that's what eating cooked agave tastes like. It's very sweet. You can imagine, right? Cause you make agave 
sugar from it, syrup. So once you cook it, it's very sweet. And then you juice it, right? And extract all the juices from it. So it's basically this sweet juice. And then you put the yeast in and you make an agave wine. And then you take that agave wine and you distill it. And when you distill, you boil it, right? And alcohol has a lower boiling point than water. And so the alcohol burns off first and it becomes a vapor, right? And it travels up the column all the way. And when it gets to the top, you cool it and down rains tequila, right? And that is how you make tequila. And at that point, it's very, you know, anything that was organic or living in it before, like, so say, you know, it's very hard to control your fields. Say you're growing wine and you have vineyards. It's like, yes, you can control certain aspects of the soil and you can control like whether or not you're using pesticides, but like you can't control what flies overhead, what might run into the field. Like it's harder environment to control. So that's why it can be a little, you know, as you, as you get older, it gets harder to metabolize everything that, that is in living in wine, but distillation there's nothing alive in it anymore, right? Like you've burned off the alcohol, it's become a vapor and then it rains down, becomes alcohol. It's very clean. So it's just a much cleaner spirit. And at that point, you know, the, the alcohol level is quite high. And that's why when you hear about people making tequila, you often hear about the water source, right? The volcanic water, because you dilute that very high proof alcohol down to the level of you know, 40 ABV, which is what regular tequila is, right? So that's the whole process. And then be before we dilute, we infuse. So we infuse when it's still very high proof, we infuse it, and then we dilute it. And that's how we make ours. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so somebody asked... No, oh, no, the doorman's here again. <laughs> Go ahead. Somebody asked a question that I, I would like to answer as a, as a drinker of the grapefruit hibiscus, and then I'll let Kat elaborate. So somebody said, is it really that smooth? Question mark, question mark. It really is guys. Like the, the grapefruit hibiscus, you really can drink it straight. I drink it in a wine glass with, well, I put a couple ice cubes in it because I like it cold, <laughs> but it really is that smooth. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for answering on our behalf, but yes, it really truly is. It's actually dangerously smooth. So be careful. <laughs> you, you literally will drink these and you don't even realize, especially if you are mixing it, that's the one thing, put less in it. Less is more with 21 seeds. You truly don't have to add a lot to these tequilas. They are already infused. Um, they're, they're exceptionally smooth. They really truly are. Um, and you just don't have to mess with them too much. Like that was the whole idea. You know, listen, the three of us founders were all moms that we each have two kids. And the last thing I want to do at the end of my night is do math. So I don't want to measure things. I don't want to like convert ounces into tablespoons and things like that. And I feel like most of America does not have like measured ounce shot glasses in their house. So it always was as an outsider from the spirits industry coming in, I was always like, why does everything have to be in ounces? Like no one has ounce shot glasses, right? Everyone has tablespoons. Like, can't we do everything in tablespoons? So I really made this effort to try to say things like, it's a three count pour, you know, it's a splash, it's a half a lime. You know, a half a lime is half ounce of fresh lime juice, by the way, you guys. If you're making the spicy margarita, juice half a lime, that's a half ounce of fresh lime juice. And a half ounce is one tablespoon, just FYI. <laughs> but um, I like to just, with this, with 21 seeds, it's splash, splash, you know, top with club soda. You, you cannot go wrong. It's such a smooth product. Just take whatever recipe, you know, like, and splash it out and you will be good to go. Awesome. And then I think this might be the last question and I hope that we have time and ingredients for it, but it looks like somebody joined us late here on zoom and she says, I only saw her make two drinks. What was the first one? Can she do it again? Totally. Yes, I can. Okay, here we go. The first one, you guys, is the most important one because it is our signature cocktail. We have it on the menu all across the country. It's our spicy margarita, and it's so easy to make. 
you're going to take a shaker and we're going to let me take the lid off of that and put some ice in it. There we go. This is good because I've got my brother-in-law here, my mom here. Everybody's waiting for cocktails like thirsty. No. <laughs> so we're going to add to this, we're going to add two ounces of the cucumber jalapeno tequila, right? So this is actually here go. It's the recipe's right here. 21 seeds, two ounces cucumber jalapeno, one ounce of a 50-50 mixture of simple syrup and fresh lime juice. It's right there in the, in the, in the label. No. Okay, so we're gonna add two ounces, which is a three count pour. So we're gonna go one, two, three, okay. And to that, because I make so many of these, I, I, I pre-batch 50-50 fresh lime juice with simple syrup. So it's one tablespoon of fresh lime juice, one tablespoon of simple syrup. And if you're using agave syrup, you guys, agave syrup is much thicker and much sweeter than simple syrup. So you don't even need to use a full tablespoon. If you're using agave syrup, I would just do like a squeeze, maybe half a tablespoon of agave syrup. You can always add more, you can never take away, so start with less. So this is a mixture of equal parts, simple syrup, fresh lime juice. I want a half, a, half and half ounce, one tablespoon, one tablespoon combined, it's one full ounce, which is two tablespoons, okay? So there's that goes in and that's it. That is a perfect margarita. You're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna shake. And people underestimate shaking. You have to shake, or if you don't have a shaker, you can like, it from one glass to the next glass like a cup you can do the old-fashioned like sort of cup shape like that but the point of all that is to dilute it a little bit mix it really well and chill it not really my, my brother-in-law's mother's here now too it's like a whole family affair can somebody bring me a glass one glass one glass <laughs> that's the cocktail guys <laughs> i'm gonna pour it into a fresh glass because i all of my glasses are full. I have my mule. I have my other cocktail that I made with the pineapple spin drift, equal parts. And we've got Frank come in with a glass. Either one, it doesn't matter. I'll take that from there. Okay. Thanks, babe. All right. There we go. I'll put some ice in there. So this is go to you guys. And if you want to pre batch the entire bottle for a party, there you go, that's it. You wanna pre-batch the whole bottle? You can use a bottle of 21 seeds, cucumber jalapeno, right? Just like pour the whole bottle in. And then it's six ounces of fresh lime juice and six ounces of simple syrup, okay? And that recipe is on our website, on our blog. You can check it out there. If you wanna do the whole bottle for a party. So like a pitcher of margaritas. Cheers. Cheers. You guys, this is so good. It's so good. <laughs> I'm glad you made another one. I'm glad that those who weren't able to join on time still got to see your signature cucumber jalapeno margarita. This is the winner. You guys, it's so, so, so good. Go and make it, post it, and we'll repost it. We love, love, love it when our fans and our customers out there show us their cocktails. All right, you guys. So if you need more recipes, Visit the 21 Seeds website, check out their blog, find all the recipes there. Uh, the replay of this event will be available on our website, on our blog in a couple of days. So you can re-watch some of these recipes uh, if you would like. For those of you who won prizes with trivia tonight, I'll be following up via email. Um, and just thank you, Kat, so much for joining us for the launch. I know that the cucumber jalapeno, I think it just hit stores last week. I think it was last Tuesday. So, you know, this is, this, this is the second time now that we've gotten to have you on during launch week. I love it. I love it, you guys. Thank you guys for being so awesome. New Hampshire rocks. For those of you who weren't on at the beginning, I was out in Montauk and literally saddled up at this bar, the sand bar, where we have some cocktails on the menu. And the whole group next to us was from New Hampshire and they could not believe that we were sitting next to them because they had just bought the grapefruit hibiscus for friends. 
And we were like, yes, that's our tequila. Oh my God. And it was amazing. And they were so awesome, which is obviously representative of how awesome everyone is in New Hampshire. And you guys have rocked it. And thank you for being so supportive of our female founded brand that's out there calling the shot and taking on those big boys of booze. <laughs> Awesome. Kat, thank you so much. We hope you have a great rest of your summer. We hope that things stay somewhat good and that we'll get to see you in real life during Distillers Week this year. Awesome. So, thank you, everybody. Oh, Mary says to thank you for your great infusions. I concur. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, and Tyler. Thanks, everyone, for your answers and for hanging out with us during this hour. And please try these cocktails at home. Let us know what you think. All right, everybody have a great night. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any other questions, go ahead and reach out on Facebook and we will get back to you. See you later. Ciao. Bye-bye.